Heights, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb talks teacher pay and education in an exclusive interview with Wayne 15. Last month, thousands of teachers gathered at the State House to voice their concern to state lawmakers about teacher pay, school funding, mandates, and more. I asked Governor Holcomb about teacher pay last year and brought it up again first thing this year. He cited that Indiana spends over 50% of its budget on education. Last budget session, the state passed what he called an historic increase in education, including $150 million from reserves to free up school debt. And he created a teacher compensation commission, which includes the head of the teachers union, to recommend a path to making Indiana a top three state for teacher pay in our Midwest neighborhood. I asked the governor if he thought teachers should trust Republicans to get the job done. Well, we just passed a historic increase, unprecedented increase. Um, so that, that shows you uh, our commitment. When you increase spending in different areas of all the things that we spend money on in the state of Indiana, whether it's got to do with our safety or our health, 77% um, of all that new spending went to education. The good news is under, to use your word, Republicans, uh, under Republican leadership, our state continues to grow. Our revenue continues to grow. And therefore, our reserve is, is getting higher. That was what allowed me to use that $150 million. And because of our good um, fiscal stewardship, we're able to pay down our state debt, which frees up money long term going forward. And I can tell you um, that a number of teachers, almost 99% of the schools that we've heard from right now, increased pay for teachers but i want to most importantly not it, it shouldn't just be a stipend it shouldn't just be a one-time deal it should be systemically going forward that's that's why the state of indiana has a budget every two years but a lot of companies when they have a really good year they make a lot of money they give one-time bonuses yeah. why not bonus the teachers we had a really good year in the state of indiana we had all this excess oh, profit yeah and here's you know yeah. here's a thousand dollar check to get you because competitive. by the way they just had a historic uh, increase in funding. So we did that this year and they just locally bargained a month ago to lock those salary increases in. And so the question is, how do we make sure we're good fiscal stewards um, and, and I share the same goal um, and then make sure and then ensure that that gets into teacher patients. No one wants to say, let's make everyone state employees and then we can make sure it gets to teachers. Right. Right. You want to give them the ability and the authority to locally bargain because we've got school corporations that are competing with one another for students. Right. And so you, when you see students move around to school, different school districts, you know, that's locally happening. So we want to make sure that systemically they have the budget uh, to be in the top three in our 10, 11 state region. So the, you, you used the stat about the percentage of the budget that goes towards education, but as an actual dollar, it seems like Indiana still lags behind neighboring states. I mean, we, we formulate the way we pay d districts, I think, differently than other states. But in total dollars, yeah, yeah, that's still less. Yeah, yeah. Is the pie big enough? Is yeah, that you're 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 hitting on a, a very important point, and you're right. Again, schools are local, right? A lot of local spending goes into this as well. So it's not just the state. But then, how do we how do we ensure that it gets into teacher paychecks? And I think you're going to see a lot of progress. Remember, we're we're not even a month out of when these local contracts were bargained. And, and, and come to an agreement on. And I think what you'll see is a lot of progress was made, thankfully, um, by that unprecedented uh, increase. And, and I anticipate in order to meet the gap that I just in my gut think is there, um, we're gonna have the funding going forward. I then asked the governor if he thinks education is where he might be most vulnerable in an election year. You can hear his answer tonight at six.